There you go. Okay. Talking to the camera. Say what you have to talk about. You gotta put it back. Look, lean it back. Say hello. Okay, y'all. It's about to be so much fun because I really love gardening and logging, and I'm really about to show y'all like what I be on. I'm listening to the new Kendrick album again because it's just so it's so fire, so much heat. We have lettuce. All of this is lettuce. I don't know if I should like keep it bunched up. I'm gonna spread it out probably through the pods, but um, I think this is spinach. No, this is a lettuce. This is all lettuce. Um, I have just regular lettuce, and then these are peppers, and we're gonna uh, prune these so that they can spread out and grow. And these are tomatoes some more tomatoes and another type of tomatoes and these i think are hot banana peppers but i can't say that for sure but i know when i break not when i break them but when julian throws his toys and breaks my plants i can smell i can smell the spiciness so and i don't know what type of tomatoes these are because when everything was dying i had to just hurry up and transplant it so yay oh and my things didn't have the name signs on them. They got messed up and washed out. So this is what we're working with. This one is growing so nice. And I think we're going to prune the tomatoes as well. But I put them in Julian's wagon so I can pull them all. Brandon's waiting on me, so I need to head it up. This is the peach tree. Yeah. This is the peach tree we got my mom for Mother's Day. And it's starting to show some seeds. They were flowers at first. We transplanted it. And now the flowers are gone in little, little babies. Little babies. Peaches. Peaches are so good fresh. Choo choo! What? My little baby. Why are you over there in that? I need to get in the shade that's hot out here but yeah we had to get some sunscreen on julian because it gets so hot out here already it's like it goes from winter with some rainy days to summer af all right i'm about to show y'all the project we're currently working on so you can get an idea of the before and after uh, at the same time but anyway this is she so this is the old golden <laughs> this is the old garden box and this is where we did our garden last year and we expanded it it was just one box i think at first and then we added on another half so it doubled it and then so now we have the fence as y'all know but we're gonna take all of this out this was all the grass and dirt that was dug up from the fencing area and we put it here until we knew what we were gonna do and we decided that we were gonna do the garden again still so the garden box so currently I'm taking all of this out, putting it in the wheelbarrow, and putting it in the compost. And so that's cilantro. I'm going to save that cilantro. We're going to get that and save it. But all this is going, and then we're going to lay some soil and get it cleaned up because all the tomatoes and peppers, well, no, tomatoes are going in here. And stuff that runs so like watermelon, squash, zucchini, and then we're going to let it run out because there's a lot of room for it to run outwards so and on the side and then we're gonna put maybe a trellis over here and then some cucumbers can come or some peas or green beans but it's a very shaded area basically because this tree but yeah they say tomatoes they'd be all right so that's what we're doing this ah. is what we look like with the soil out we're about to rake it out Put some soil in and get some things planted. Ah, stop. Okay, Karate Kid. Julian be going hand with the sticks. This is what we got so far. Tomato update. We put some of these trellises in here. I put that one in the middle 
because I don't feel like they quite need to be right in the middle. And so this one can grow up and be assisted like those four can, we gonna see. We got peppers. I don't know what type of peppers anymore, but we have them. But I do know that that one down there is poblano. And then we have the Roma tomatoes that are snapping back. He's just got transplanted in. This line right here is gonna be a trellis I need to make. And then we're gonna have peas on the other side so that they can grow up them. And then we got a green bean in with the steak that I got at Aldi for $5. It came in a four pack. And we'll put some more green beans there. We have some more steaks. And those are the watermelons. And we're gonna build a trellis going off of this garden box. And these are the big boys. These are supposed to be big beef steak heirloom, I think. I don't know, one of them. All right, now to the fence garden. The ones that we have to protect a little bit more. We have the gourmet blend of lettuce. Look at that. The red color is coming in so beautiful. I'm proud of it because we transplanted this and at first it was like, hell no. Nah. And then I watered it the other day and it was like, hell yeah, I like it here. And so we have three different lettuces, lettuce, three different types of lettuce here. And it is getting firm and crunchy. And we have some carrots. I'm gonna seed some more because I don't think that these are gonna be. <laughs> We're gonna get what, two carrots out of these. Some more lettuce, lettuce, arugula, arugula, lettuce. I watered these, they needed some water. The next day it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, warm out, but the next three days after that, it's gonna be raining. So, oh, and there's that little spinach. Oh, I forgot to water that. Hey. Spinach, hey! Hey, cute baby! And then we have okra, and I'll put a steak in these okras too, because they're, they're supposed to grow up. So we're gonna see what they do, but I put them close. And then here we have one of the greens. I think it's um, collard greens. And I think that these are the mustards. And yeah, so that's what we have so far. We have a lot of more coverage you can see from that end to this end. So we have a lot of space. Honestly, I don't know what we're gonna put in here yet, but the 23rd so we're gonna see the progress that we make over these next few weeks